But we'll take a look then at the field for the A final of the men's single. France two, France one, Germany one, Denmark, Japan, and Belgium one. So two French brothers, Valentin and TFL Enfoir next to each other. Just about them, thanks to Manny Brunet for this news. After Rachiche last year, they decided to quit the quad project. Brunet went back to sweep. They took third place in the pair in the French trials. Jürgen Grobler expected them to row the pair, but Theo, the oldest one, said no, and they went to Duisburg in the singles. Now they're here for Varese. So, Valentin Enfoir, we saw the younger of the two Enfoir brothers. There's Tia Phil in for Sculling for France one in lane two. The favourite, Oli Zeidler. Great conditions for you, Oli. Expect you're going to maybe try and blast the field away. Sorry, Nielsen is in better form here than the fourth place he took in the Bled European Championships. Took fourth place in the Olympics as well. Well, this is historic, Ryuta Arakawa, to see a Japanese oarsman in the final. I think this is his first A final. It may be the first A final for a Japanese sculler. Former lightweight Arakawa, as is this man here. Tim Brees from Belgium came fifth in the lightweight double skulls in the Tokyo Olympics with Niels van Zanweger. But Tim Brees is such a tall athlete. Um, one meter 88 or six foot two the he really struggled with the weight limit and so he's gone to open weight and he is sculling beautifully at the moment on an outside lane but there we go all eyes on this man he said he will do every world cup he did the european championships he's entered for henley as well which is coming up soon he'll race at henley then he'll go to lucerne and race in the third world cup this is a man on a mission. TfL on foie, looking round there, the man from the Secle Nautique Verdenois in the east of France. I love the fact they went against Jürgen. <laughs> Jürgen Grobler. <laughs> well, which one's going to be the fastest single? How quick is Oli Zeidler's start going to be? What will Sferi Nielsen do on the off? Look at the beautiful water. Shit suits Idler down to a T. There he is. The German from the Frankfurter Gute Gesellschaft Club. Sferi Nielsen leading out at the moment. <laughs> He's not to be outdone. He looks beautiful the way he's sculling at the moment. So well connected. Yeah, fantastic start for him. It just flew out of the gates and he's holding on to that lead as Idler going right with him. 47 strokes a minute, and that stern's not dipping at all. So many strokes. Zeidler and Nielsen out already. I think uh, this scallop, Tim Brees, is trying to go out with them on this near side. Zeidler looks cool, calm, and collected. Hasn't taken a look across at very Nielsen, but we're less than a minute in, so why would he? Whoa, Zeidler leading Sferi Nielsen. Nielsen went out so quickly, he looks so good, but Zeidler is just edging his bows into the front. He went through 500, I think in the heat in 134. The wind's just, just a breath of wind on the course now. I can't imagine he's gonna be as quick as 134 to 500, but um, let's see what he does. Well, he hasn't settled, still up at about 42, 43 strokes per minute, is it? Starting to, Sperry Nielsen is starting to lose touch a little bit with the German. But blast is the right word, I think, Martin. He has blasted through the first 500, Ali Seidler. 134. Wow, he's done it again. What a time. 134. I can't tell you how quick that is. That is an absolutely amazing time to see from Ali Seidler. Absolutely blasting through. And you can see the rest of the field then starting to separate, though. Uh, Sferi Nielsen still keeping in touch, but Seidler, but open water lead. There's uh, the bow of the Japanese, Arakawa. Yeah, let's take a look at Ruta Arakawa, the former lightweight from the lightweight Coxless 4. And uh, finished 11th in the men's single back in Tokyo. 
from Kanagawa in Japan. Fantastic to see him here in this competition. Xavi Dorfman, of course, the French lightweight fours gold medalist, has been coaching in Japan, working with this team. There's Ferry Nielsen, the man from the Faroe Islands. I think this is his third competition since Tokyo. I think it's going according to plan for Sferi. I mean, you can't you, you, you can't legislate for a speed that Oli's idle has shown. I think Sferi Nielsen's doing ever so well. He's got the quicker boat speed you can see at the moment. He stops idlers move, but that blistering pace of 134, just to let you know that the world's best time pace was set with the 138 first 500. Uh, by Robbie Manson, who we do expect to see in the New Zealand team, single sculler. So we're going through the 1,000 metre mark and uh, 3.14, that's two seconds inside Robbie Manson's world best time pace wow. that he set in Poznan. That's how quick Zeidler is going. I, I think they're going to slow down in this second 1,000 uh, metres. The wind is, is the, just breaths on the flag, you know, not like the breeze there was when Manson broke that world record in Poznan, but Sferi Nielsen is right there. This is such a super race. Can't believe that Nielsen is so close to Zeidler. Yeah, you know, we saw him take some kind of a move just before the 1,000, not at halfway, Sferi Nielsen. Uh, he's taken that momentum with him. It looks like Zeidler maybe a little bit of an answer, though. That's Sferi Nielsen, and then back to uh, the top of the field. Early Zeidler, coached by his dad, Heino, and... Uh, of course, his grandfather, Johannes Faber, won the gold medal in the 1972 Olympics. Not so long ago, he came out of swimming. He won a silver medal, I think, in the Europeans in the four times 100 meter relay. Uh, he is sub 540 on the ergo. Will he ever get Josh Dunkley Smith's 535.8 world's best time? You never know, he's got the ability. And you can see why that boat is moving. Look at the, the way that stern is moving, Colleen. Not yeah, a check stunning. on air as he's up rating. What is he, about 40 strokes a minute, 38 at the moment. That's how he likes to race. Yeah, just stunning. Super level and, uh, you know, he's, he's keeping in touch. But Zeidler with the advantage. And then uh, just behind them, Will, Arakawa of Japan looking in contention for what could be a bronze. So we're two seconds off of world best time pace. I thought it wasn't going to be as quick in the last thousand metres. In one sense, it's a shame we haven't got the win, but then I, I suppose Oli Zeidler prefers conditions like this. Sferi Nielsen has not let go. Look, he is narrowing the gap between him and Oli Zeidler. So what has the man from the Faroe Islands got in the last 500 metres? He's low 540s on the ergo. We know how strong he is. We know how efficient he is. Works with Thomas Paulson. He's one of the best technical scholars in the field. Just look at his stroke profile and, and just see how that is. At the moment, Oli Zeidler has answered him. He's pushing away from Sferi Nielsen, who is trying to find something extra to get back on the German. Sferi Nielsen will be loving this race. You know, he'll be screaming, he'll be hurting, but he'll know how close he is to the German sculler. And you can see it there, just a fraction clear water. Yeah, well done keeping in touch with Seidler, both at 38, 39 strokes per minute. The back of Sperry Nielsen, margin so consistent. Will Seidler go? Will Nielsen be able to close some of this? But it's looking so good for Seidler to take the gold. I think Arakawa is in bronze medal position, actually. We can't see, but I think Ruta Arakawa will win a sensational bronze medal for Japan if the result goes at the moment. We are captivated with Seidler and Nielsen. Seidler moving away from Nielsen at the moment, 6.30, that was the old gold medal time. He's coming up to the, well, the world's best times. Oli Zeidler comes up, takes the gold medal in a very fast time. It's very Nielsen just behind him. What a great result. A historic medal for the Japanese scholar Ryuta Arakawa. The 28-year-old has scored a bronze medal in the World Cup ahead of Tim Priest, ahead of Valentin and TfL Onfwa for France and that is sensational news for Japanese rowing. How long have they had to wait for that? Yeah, fantastic, isn't it? And uh, we was really looking forward to this final for so many reasons, but one of them to have the chance to see uh, Arakawa and even better to have him onto the podium. It's very Nielsen catching his breath. And uh, Arakawa. Wow, that is amazing. 
And obviously, um, you know, scholars like Leonard Van Leeroy, who won the European Championships, Stefanos and Tuskos, the Olympic champion, not at this contest. But for Arakawa to win that bronze medal, fantastic. It's very Nielsen. What a brilliant start from the day. We didn't have a chance to chat about it, uh, Martin, but the Enfoy brothers were toe-to-toe -to -toe at the back of the field, and it was uh, yeah, fantastic to see them, too. It was Valentin Enfoy over his brother, uh, Théophile Enfoy, to take fifth and sixth. Oh, so France two beat France one in that sense. I wonder if that that's was what I'm seeing. Price. That's right. Yeah, by about four seconds. Well, I wonder if that'll be significant in terms of who gets the single slot. I guess Jurgen Grobler will still want them to go in a pair. You know, they are probably going to struggle to make the final at the World Championships. I think it's top. Is it top eight or top nine singles this year? Oliver Zeidler. 